Finally, the day for formula hybrid competition arrives. The design and construction of the race car is complete. Some of the teams may have actually achieved some of the secondary goals of the project plan already, but the primary goal of winning the competition is still undetermined. And the project management review presentation is still ahead. And that review, review presentation is a culmination of all the project management activities and things we've done throughout the development and construction and testing of our race car. And we'll just kind of we'll review what we've been through okay, in this journey of project management. Where at the beginning we initiated our project, our team determined that it wanted to compete in Formula Hybrid. And the team had leadership and management roles uh, that were typical of the way the team wanted to operate. Then in the second phase of the project life cycle, we developed a project plan, which described what the project was, our goals and objectives, our structure, the schedule that we're working to, our measures of success that we would use to evaluate our level of success at the end. With our plan, we focused on monitoring and control, how we would guide our actions to a successful completion. And finally, project completion, where we analyzed the strengths and weaknesses of our project management approach. And the formula hybrid project management submissions are distributed throughout the project management life cycle. For instance, the project plan combines these two phases of life cycle together in looking at what is the project plan. And in the submission, we're interested in the scope. And the scope addresses the planned accomplishments. It addresses the goals and objectives, our measures of success. It looks at the milestones. And the milestones are our completion dates of significant events in our project plan and our, and our schedule. In our plan, we also look at structures. Namely, the organization, the leadership roles, the work breakdown structure, which represents our task organization, and the project schedule. And I, as I indicated earlier, we're also looking at our plan on what is our change management process? How are we going to, to manage and implement change? In monitor and control, we have the interim progress report. We're executing our plan. And at midway in, in plan execution, the scope focuses on what was achieved. These are our goals, our objectives. What was achieved? <clears throat> what were the expected results versus the actual results at the time of cutoff? Okay. When we essentially gather the information for interim progress report. And this is, if there's a difference between expected and actual, What's the reason for the difference? What happened? Under structure, we're looking against performance against schedule. Now, it's just human nature when we report on performance against schedule to say we're on schedule. Very few teams are behind schedule, 
will acknowledge they're behind schedule. Some will even acknowledge that they're ahead of schedule. When we're looking at performance against schedule, we'd like to see some evidence okay, that being on schedule or ahead really has occurred. Whether it's drawings, analysis, test data, photographs, verify the claim on your performance against schedule. What are the barriers? And this is most interesting. What are the barriers that the team has encountered up to this point and how has the team overcome these barriers? How has the team responded to challenges? And earlier I, I said that all projects encounter unanticipated events. We'd like to know what did your team do to overcome the effects of unanticipated events? And finally, in change management, what were the number of changes? And how is the process working? Did you find that you had to revise the process because it wasn't meeting your requirements as well as it should? And finally, we get to, to the static events at the competition, where we're looking at the project management review presentation. And here we're looking at the ability of the team to structure and execute a plan that meets predetermined goals. Key word here is predetermined. These aren't goals that you determine after you met them. These are goals that you set out to achieve at the very beginning of the project. I right don't here in the scope of your initial plan. How well did you do in achieving those predetermined goals in creating your plan, executing the plan, managing change going forward. It's necessary for each team to convince a review board that formula hybrid was carefully planned, it was effectively managed, and adjusted dynamically, which is another way of saying effective change management. Was this project conducted in a disciplined way that significantly increased the probability of success on behalf of the team. So key items in terms of the project management review presentation. Now this completes the brief overview of formula hybrid project management. Additional detail on the topics that I covered and on the evaluation criteria can be found in the 2015 formula hybrid rules. Now, I hope that you found that these short videos were helpful, and good luck to each of you in the 2015 Formula Hybrid competition. Good luck.